Let's look at the menus of Photoshop in this continuing tour of the program. Photoshop has quite a few menus and many, many options under each. If I were to go through each of these options in order, it wouldn't really make for a very nice flow in terms of an instructional video. Instead, what I'd like to do is show you the ones that are either the most common or the most important, especially uh, those that we would normally use when manipulating space or astrophotography type images. Alright, so let's say we're happy with that. Now what do you do? Let's say we've done all of the changes on all of the layers that we might have open. Now we're ready to commit to what we see on the screen. What we see on the screen is always the combination of all effects that are being employed on all visible layers. During this section I'd like to show you one of the most fascinating and powerful enhancements we can do to our images using the high pass filter in Photoshop. There's a very special usage of the filter and I'd like to show you many variations of how it can be employed on images. I'm going to brighten up just a little bit more using curves just to make it look good. And we'll even take out a little bit of the sky here just to increase the contrast a little bit. And there we are. This would be, it's actually a crop of a much larger frame, uh, but shows the Rosette Nebula. Let's look at the histogram and what I'm going to do with the histogram by looking at all of the channels. I know that was off screen, but you there's an option there for displaying all the channels. I need to balance, that is neutralize, the sky color. I'm not going to touch the white point of these um, channels anymore because that'll change the color balance. I now have it, the correct color balance. Any other brightening I do, I will operate on all channels at the same time. But I can align the black levels in each of these channels to neutralize the sky color. So let's do that.